Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to The Real Legend of Gaming. So we are here with Fortnite for the PS4. The game launched today if you purchased the Deluxe Founders Pack. I uh, just want to point out quickly to make sure you redeem your codes in the PlayStation Store. Um, in addition to the standard pack, you know, you have a Deluxe, you have a Limited, a Super, and then there's an Ultimate Upgrade Pack. So make sure you do that before you put the game on. Upon setting up the game, you have to set up an Epic account, which is required for you to play it online and also to access the Founders Early Access. Uh, there's a little welcome message there from Epic. Um, obviously, this game is uh, not complete. It releases officially next year, but they gave us a chance to purchase it and become founders of the game. So I thought that was really cool. So check out this little intro to give you some insight what the game's about. Right, so there you have it Fortnite, right so the game opens up with you speaking with a character that honestly resembles claptrap obviously it's a gearbox game in partnership with epic so you know there's going to be something similar to borderlands and some of the other great classics that they created uh so upon listening to this section here uh where you meet commander ramirez you're going to go right into some fun immediately and you'll see that we got a pack of huts set ahead What's our firepower situation? See for yourself. Lead the way, Commander. All right, so now you have an opportunity to meet the first monster in the game, which is the Husk. I love the character intros there. Again, reminds me of Borderlands with that. Now, I thought this was cool. Um, right away, you're starting to shoot the Husk. Little action right off the bat. And if you look at the game, I mean, it looks beautiful, very polished. I mean, it gives you a, a very crispy background. I was very impressed with the just the visual appearance of the game. Now, something that's also part of the game is breaking items down to get resources. Uh, some folks are comparing that to Minecraft. I can see the resemblance, absolutely. However, when you see the gameplay, you're going to realize that this game is not like Minecraft whatsoever. So at this point here, you have to build some stairs in order to get out of that cave, uh, which is pretty easy uh, when you do play the game. You know, the tutorial will explain everything to you. You want to search everything that you possibly can to get more resources in order to craft different schematics. Uh, you have schematics for weapons, schematics for different traps. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different items that you can craft. Uh, this case here, the first quest was to harvest resources. So we have to specifically break down some trees and some cars in order to craft our assault rifle. So I thought that was really cool. So we got everything that was required. Uh, this in-game trackers. So that's also something I really like when I'm playing a game because it makes it a lot easier to keep track of what you're doing. And from there, you can make a handmade assault rifle. So after you create that, you know, you go on to the next mission. Again, everything's pretty self-explanatory. Um, in this case here, we're going to go into the first instance of the game where we are defending a base. So a uh, little nice cutscene here as well. Okay. 
Now, thus far, you've heard me make a lot of references to Gearbox and Borderlands, but I think this section here, where you're actually defending the base, reminds me a lot of Gears of War, especially with the reinforcements. So it's very similar to Horde mode. So this is where Epic plays their part. So this is real cool because it's, a, I think, a much faster version of Gears of War. No way I'm comparing it. That's my favorite franchise of all time. But I do want to point out the similarities to you guys. So it's pretty intense. You know, as, as the husks come along, you got to take them out. And then it cuts off to the next section of the game. Uh, which where they show you how to put the traps on the floor. And I thought this was pretty cool. Because there's different types of traps. You have spike traps that you can throw down on the floor. Um, as you're progressing on the game, there's also traps that you can put on the ceilings of the wall. That can electrocute the enemies. So it's just a lot of different customization options with the traps as well. You see here, it's pretty easy to throw them down. Uh, you just equip them and place them on the floor exactly where you want them to be. Uh, for the scenario here, they actually tell you where to place it. But you see the spikes are already there. Uh, you can also build doors so you can go through a wall. And now we're going to get into some fun. So you see this bigger monsters that you can encounter that require, you know, different types of weapons to take them out faster. In this case here, this big blue husk, we're going to take out with an assault rifle. So that's why it's important to be able to craft different types of weapons. And we'll explain later how you're able to obtain different types of weapons as well. So if you look at the top, there's a timer in the middle. It tells you how long you have to survive this wave. So it also gives you additional pressure, but it also gives you some insight of how long you need to be playing this map. So I thought that was cool as well. Um, it's not just a standard like finish off all the enemies and the wave is over. They also have time section as well. Now, essentially, there's also some skills that you can use. Uh, we're going to show you an airstrike momentarily, which obviously will be great for crowd control. So you just focus on taking out whatever you can. It, I was having a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Especially because the game looks really amazing. So it made me enjoy it a little bit more. I'm, I'm a sucker like that. If the game looks beautiful and it has like crispy graphics the way this one does. I tend to fall in love with it a little bit faster. But as you see it, it moves really smooth. Again, I feel it's fast, so the game speed definitely keeps you in entertained. And right there, we were able to get the airstrikes, so look at that. Beautiful animations as well. So, you know, that was an example there of, you know, how a wave could look like. You know, so upon completing that quest, you know, you go through a cutscene as well. Gives you a little bit more insight into the story. And then afterwards, you know, you're going to go into... The play area, which will be able to see exactly sections where you can upgrade your skills. Uh, you can open up the loot that you earned from the event. So this here is what you get to name your home base. Feel free to name it whatever you please. Um, you know, obviously, don't be offensive, but you know they have a lot of character letters that you can use. There's also an option to edit the banners along with the icons. Uh, for those who have the f deluxe pack, you don't earn those rewards until you complete the tutorial. So for that moment there, you're only going to start off with standard designs. So this has a loot box system similar to Overwatch. So as you level up, you're, you're going to earn different loot. And you see here we got schematics for wooden floor spikes and also for a handmade ruler sword. So you can literally craft all types of things. Upon completing main quests, you also get different schematics as well. They also have a color system where you have commons, uncommons, rares, epics. Uh, that's what I've seen so far. All right, so we're going to go into Storm Shield. Enjoy the cutscene. Good timing. Thanks 
for guiding us home, Commander. So this section here, you're going to start customizing the Storm Shield. This is cool. Check it out. have the resources to build that quite yet. And here's what we do have the time and resources to build. Still good. Let's get started with the basics. Can't build... Now, after seeing that first design, you're like, wow. That's the area of opportunity there. So you start off with some resources that you're being given. And you're going to build basic stuff. So, again, the game shows you how to do everything. You'll build your wall. You'll build your floor. you build your ceilings. And I also like the fact that you're able to build low walls, which you will see uh, momentarily. So there goes the ceilings. And then you place your traps as well. So you see we've got that schematic to create that trap, so we're able to do that one. So upon finishing that, that's when the wave starts. You'll go up to the shield and activate the start. Different monster that we're fighting. This one's called Pitcher. So this is a wave right here. You have a total of about three minutes to defend the Storm Shield. And it's just non-stop. You know, the enemies fortunately only spawn from one direction in this tutorial. But I'm sure as you progress in the game, they're going to come from left, right. And not only just from the south. You know, even the north as well. So as you see, you know, you take the enemies off. You let your traps do their work. And you saw the trap on top of the ceiling. It electrocuted the enemies. So, you know, it's all about using everything to your advantage. You can also use the sword for melees up close. But remember, you expose yourself to a lot more damage. It just, but it's cool if, if there are players like that that use the sword. I know Savage Gamer Twenty One loves to do melees, so he might be going with the sword. Upon completing that, you also earn points for your base, and you get Commander XP. And there's also a daily bonus that you earn. So, upon leveling up. You know, you get the loot systems again, but you also get uh, skill points that you can use for your skill trees, which we'll show you that in a few moments as well. So the loot chest will always open up on the play screen. So basically, once you pass um, the score screen and everything else that you are, um, you know, stat related for that map. Uh, so something that you get in this game is called the reward llamas. The llamas are, I like to say they're like a pinata. You'll smack them open, and they'll have goodies inside them. And they're very good, you know, they're schematics, uh, different survivors, different heroes, in-game currency, or more llama coins where you can use to upgrade the llama for better rewards. Now, if you also look, there's a section on the top that says loot. If you scroll over to that, you'll see where it says the llama. So we're going to open up one reward llama just so you guys can see down with monsters now we have the option to upgrade which we did as you see the rewards are better so we got found the coins which you you would need to open up a different type of llama you got a different schematic for a weapon. And then you also got a survivor, which essentially will help you as well. If you go over to the schematic screen, you can see everything you unlock. And you also get a closer look. For example, if you want to check out the weapon stats, it gives you a lot of different areas to consider when choosing your weapon. So we have more loot llamas. And I believe upon opening these different loots... We're going to get up to the section where you guys finally get to see what's included for buying the game and what's for the deluxe pack and founders pack and everything else. So this is the pre-order rewards right here. Real nice rocket launcher. You get a grenade launcher and a double punch with some ammo shells. Then the exclusive rewards. 
you get different heroes. So you get another Ramirez. You get a Penny. This guy here seems pretty cool. Assassin Ken, melee character. And then you have a Trailblazer Spectre. So you're not just stuck with that first hero of the game. So I thought that was real cool as well. Then for the standard edition, you get these rewards. You get the Founder's Daily Rewards, which is every day. Obviously, right? But then you get all these different items that you can use for your banner. Along with... The Deluxe Edition Rewards that are here. So for the Deluxe Edition Rewards, you get some really cool stuff. I mean, I was actually pretty hyped to get it. Um, I had an idea what I was going to get from you know looking at the cover of the game and the inside content. Which uh, we showed you in the beginning. But look at all the stuff you get. The armory slot upgrade. Tons of different heroes. You get another Ramirez. This one's Jonesy. Another Penny. A cow. Another Ken. You get a Sarah. Specialist AC. Jess. And a whole lot of weapons. All types. Now check out that purple. You got an epic pistol right there. That's nice. And look, more items to customize. So it's definitely worth it. I think you get some good items. You get a rifle there as well, which is awesome. More floor spikes. And another nice pistol there. Now, something that they want you to do right off the back as well is purchase a constructor. So it allows you to add constructors to your hero squad. So that's something that helps you with your skill tree as well. It gives you constructor leadership, which you can craft different type of items. And gadgets as well. And I like that you get rewards for the quests. I mean, there's a lot in this game. I mean, it's so honestly, it was a lot to cover in a short video. I try to tackle everything. So if there's something I forgot, folks, just bear in mind that this game is very complete. There's a lot of different elements to it, a lot of different things you can upgrade, a lot of customizations different ways to approach the game so as i become more comfortable with it because i honestly i played this for an hour and i decided to make you guys a video just so you can see how exciting this game is but as i progress along i'll be able to explain things a little more clearer for you guys and also be able to give you better insight and show you some awesome gameplay because i'm definitely looking to make an awesome base and I'm looking to stream this a lot with um, my buddy Savage Gamer 21 in Divine. Because they already picked up the game. And eventually, um, hopefully, we'll team up with my buddy Arix. Along with uh, a few others from, um, you know, the YouTube industry that I've been cool with. Chaotic. So, uh, we should be able to get some good streams in. So, here again, we're going to show you the llamas. And we're going to end the video with opening a whole bunch of llama piñatas. So enjoy, folks, all right? If you're first time checking me out, definitely hit that subscribe button for future updates for Fortnite and many other amazing games. And if you're a returning sub, then hit that like button, share it with anyone who's looking to purchase Fortnite or who wants to see gameplay for it, all right? So again, appreciate the support, folks. Enjoy the rest of the pinata openings. Peace out. <laughs>
Hey, check out this nice loot.